So there's one question that I'm constantly getting asked all of the time by my consulting clients, my students, and subscribers on YouTube. And the question is, what are my favorite SEO tools for keyword research? So today I am finally creating a video that walks you through my five favorite SEO tools for keyword research. So I'm putting them all in this video, I'm diving into the back end, let's just get into it. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I'm Mariah from MariahMagazine.com. And on this channel, I help simplify things like SEO, websites, tech, and I dive into tools and recommendations to help you grow your online business in a way that works for you. So in today's video, we're diving into my top five favorite SEO tools for keyword research. We're going to dive into the back ends. I'm going to walk you through kind of like what I like about them, why I suggest them, and other things to keep in mind if you're trying to make a decision on which one to go with. So let's head into the screen share. Okay, so the first keyword research tool on the list is SEMrush. So if you have been in my world at all, in my workshops, or been a student of mine, you know that SEMrush is my go-to tool for a lot of the keyword research that I do. And so this is just a really quick look at the keyword overview tool. So I popped in a keyword real estate photography up here, and you can see all of the data that I get access to. So I can see the monthly search volume in the United States, the global volume, the keyword difficulty, aka how difficult it would be to rank rank there. We can see the intent of the keyword, like why is somebody searching for it, trend data, CPC. We can see keyword ideas and keyword variations. We can see questions related to that keyword and all of that. If we keep scrolling, we have the SERP analysis. So my favorite tool in the keyword research kind of toolkit over at SEMrush is the keyword magic tool. So this is the tool that I use all of the time. And so you can see just based on this specific keyword, you can see a list of keywords with their search intent, the monthly search volume for these specific keywords. You can see the keyword difficulty, SERP features, and all of that. You can organize all of these keyword ideas because there's a lot here and you will get into a rabbit hole, but you can organize them if you click on the other word right here and it will organize it based on that word. So that's really helpful. They have phrase match, exact match, related, and then you can check out questions related to that keyword. So I will say SEMrush, it's the tool that I've been using for the longest amount of time. So I feel pretty comfortable in this tool, but a lot of the time people get overwhelmed by it. Okay. And then the other kind of downfall about SEMrush is their pricing. So this is their pricing in order to start using their tool. This can be quite a lot if you're a beginner to SEO, or you're just trying to do SEO on your own website, or if you're not an expert that has has a bunch of projects and all of that. So that's definitely a downfall of SEMrush. Tool number two we have here is SE ranking. I'm just using the research overview tool. And so you can see that I put in copywriting for business. It's kind of similar to SEMrush in terms of the dashboard, but this one is a little less overwhelming in my opinion, and it's a little bit easier to focus on different aspects. But we have the keyword difficulty. So how do difficult it would be to rank for this keyword. We have the monthly search volume, search intent, CPC, global volume, and then we have keyword ideas. So similar keywords, related keywords. We have SERP overview and ranking dynamics. So all of that is really helpful. And then they have a keyword suggestions tool, which is pretty similar to SEMrush's keyword magic tool. And so this is just like different keyword options based on the keyword that we already typed in. And then as you can see up here, we have related questions and then low search volume keywords. And so you can kind of have fun going into a rabbit hole here. And the thing that I love about SE ranking is that like not just their keyword research tool and capabilities and all of the metrics that they're giving you access to, but their entire SEO toolkit. So as you can see here, we have backlinks, audit, content marketing, social media, local marketing, report building, and agency pack if you're an agency owner. And so all of this is really, really helpful, especially if you want to dive deep into SEO, into SEO projects. And the best part is, is that their pricing is less than half 
of what it will cost to use SEMrush. So if you're really wanting a tool that has more bells and whistles without the price tag of SEMrush, definitely consider SE ranking. And then the third tool on our list is Key Search. So Key Search is an incredible option if you really just want to focus on keyword research. So you maybe don't need all of the bells and whistles of the previous tools. Maybe you're not like an SEO agency, you're not running reports and all of that. Then Key Search might be a really good option for you. So you just put in the keyword up here and then you can search it based on related keywords. You can search different databases here. You can see the trends, you can see the search volume. And then over here, we have like the different keyword variations, kind of like we did for SE ranking and for SEMrush, but it's kind of all on one dashboard here. And so you can see the keyword, you can see the search volume, the CPC, the PPC, and the keyword difficulty score. And then if you scroll down, there is the SERP analysis highlighting different metrics so that you can compare maybe your website with other people that are already showing up on page one. And so, like I said, key search is an incredible option. If you want to keep things a little bit more streamlined and a little bit more simple, their plans start at a pretty budget friendly price right here. Okay. So then tool number four is going to be Uber suggest. This is a really good option if you don't want to pay for an SEO keyword research tool. So when you're trying to make decisions, when it comes to like choosing the best keyword for different pages on your site, you need data to help you make that decision. And so Uber suggests is kind of like that happy medium between giving you data. So like SEO difficulty, like how difficult it's going to rank and then monthly search volume. So you get the data without having to pay. But the thing is, is that you only get three daily searches if you sign up for their free plan. Now, I will say that the daily searches, you do get a decent amount of data happening here. So we do have other options. We have content ideas, we have keyword suggestions, questions, and all of that. Just be careful when you start clicking around and looking at different things, those three searches can be eaten up pretty quickly. But if we click on one of these, you'll be able to see the different variations happening from that keyword. And so it's like a full list, but it's really helpful to see all of this data in kind of one go. But I will say if you're going to pay for a keyword research tool, I kind of like the previous three options a little bit better. But Uber suggests, like I said, is incredible if you don't want to pay and you just want a free option while still getting access to data. And then the last keyword research tool that I really, really like is Answer the Public. So Answer the Public is kind of like the sister tool to Uber suggests, but this one is really helpful if you want to do keyword research specifically for creating content, for creating blog posts. And so you can just put in a topic keyword up here. So I put in business coaching and then we searched it and we're able to see a ton of different content or blog post ideas based on that keyword. And I know this is really hard to read, so you can go ahead and click on lists right here. And so you can see the specific keyword that people are typing in. And like I said, this can inspire blog post ideas. And you'll see that we do have like a little bit of data right here. But to be honest, it's not that helpful. It's not as in depth as Key Search, SE Ranking, and especially SEMrush over here. So I would say that Answer the Public is really great if you want blog posts and content ideas. If you want to do SEO keyword research for other pages on a site, for freebies, for sales pages, for your homepage, for services pages, Answer the Public is not a great option. I would recommend one of the other ones. So all in all, that's a really quick overview of my top five favorite SEO keyword research tools. As you can see, each one is really good kind of in its own bucket. So the one that's perfect for you is going to depend on how deep you want to get into keyword research, how much data you want, how many searches you want, and what your budget is going to be looking like. But as a user, I kind of just wanted to give you like the back 
end overview on like how all of the tools look, how their dashboards look, and kind of a really quick taste of how they all work because different tools work for different people. If you want to check out any of these tools on your own, I put all of the links to the tools in the video description box below. And if you want a longer, more in-depth list of the SEO tools that I use and that I recommend for different aspects of SEO, so keyword research, kind of like we went over in this video, but for blog posts and for YouTube videos, I put together a kind of expert list over on my website. So if you want to get that list, you can go to mariahmagazine.com slash SEO dash tools, and you can download that list for free. So that's it for today's video. If you guys found this video helpful, give me a really quick thumbs up. The simple thumbs up does go a long way in letting the YouTube algorithm know that my video was helpful and therefore hopefully pushing it out to more people that also might find it helpful. And like I mentioned in the video, if you want to see the full list of SEO tools that I recommend for blog posts, for keyword research, for YouTube, and all of that, make sure that you download the free SEO tools expert list, totally free for you to download. You can click the link in the video description box below, or you can head over to my website at mariahmagazine.com slash SEO dash tools, and it should take you right over there. And if you have any comments or questions or feedback on anything in terms of the tools that I went over, or if you have any questions about SEO in general, please leave me a comment below the video. I use your feedback, your comments, and your suggestions to inspire new videos on this channel, which was exactly where the idea of this video came from. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notifications, notifications and I will see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of this video and you're just getting started with DIY SEO but you want some help navigating the process, then definitely consider downloading my free roadmap to successful SEO. The free SEO guide dives into what SEO is, why it's important, and how search engines work along with my six-step process to improving your SEO and your rankings. And then finally I dive into the three tasks that you can start doing today to get the results that you want from Google. If you want to go ahead and snag this for yourself, then you can click the link in the video description box below, or you can head over to my website at mariahmagazine.com roadmap to download your own copy.